In this tutorial we will discuss on blue vitriol. Let's start with introduction. Copper sulfate pentahydrate is called as blue vitriol. Blue vitriol is triclinic crystal. It is soluble in water, and is a very important industrial salt of copper. Chiefly blue vitriol is used as a mordant, insecticide, fungicide, and in engraving. Preparation of blue vitriol Blue vitriol can be prepared in various ways. Some of the ways are as follows. From scrap copper. When scrap copper is treated with dilute sulfuric acid in presence of air, copper sulfate is obtained which on crystallization gives blue vitriol. On large scale copper sulfate is manufactured by this method. From copper pyrites. Copper pyrite is roasted whereby copper sulfate and iron sulfides are formed. If temperature is carefully regulated, copper sulfide is converted into copper sulfate. Copper sulfate thus obtained is extracted with water and crystallized to get blue vitriol. From copper, cupric oxide, or copper carbonate or copper hydroxide etc. When copper or cupric oxide or copper carbonate or copper hydroxide is treated with dilute sulfuric acid and resulting solution is crystallized, blue vitriol is obtained. Thus obtained copper sulfate solution is heated up to a crystallization point whereby triclinic crystals of blue vitriol are obtained. During the preparation of blue vitriol by this method, it is to be noted that sulfuric acid should not be excess which otherwise makes blue vitriol crystals dehydrated. Physical Properties of Blue Vitriol Blue vitriol is a blue crystalline solid. Anhydrous copper sulfate is white. Chemical Properties of Blue Vitriol Acidic nature. Blue vitriol is acidic in nature due to cationic hydrolysis. Oxidizing nature. Copper sulfate oxidizes potassium iodide solution into iodine and itself get reduced to cuprous iodide. The amount of iodine liberated is proportional to the amount of copper in copper sulfate. Hence, this is the basis to estimate copper by iodometric titration using starch as indicator. Action of heat. When blue vitriol is exposed in air, it loses two water molecule to give tetrahydrated copper sulfate. When temperature reaches to 100 degrees Celsius, it loses two more water molecules giving monohydrated copper sulfate. On heating the monohydrated copper sulfate at 230 degrees Celsius gives anhydrous white copper sulfate. Anhydrous copper sulfate gets decomposed at 750 degrees Celsius to give cupric oxide. On heating at 1100 degrees Celsius it gives red cuprous oxide. Formation of double salts. Blue vitriol solution on crystallization with alkali metal sulfates gives double salts. Complex formation. When ammonium hydroxide is added dropwise into copper sulfate solution, initially a bluish white precipitate of copper hydroxide is formed which dissolves to give deep blue solution on adding excess of ammonia solution. The deep blue color is due to the formation of tetraamine copper 2 sulfate. Uses of blue vitriol. Blue vitriol is used in electroplating and electrotyping. Blue vitriol is used as mordant during dyeing. Blue vitriol is used as fungicide and germicide. Blue vitriol is used as the preservatives of wood, gum etc. Anhydrous copper sulfate is used to detect presence of water.